Okay, one of these buttons ought to do it. But which one? Hmm. I got this. Ugh. First that, then. Now that the bridge is good to go, let's touch base with the others. Roger. Hello, hello! This is Special Agent Yuffie. Can you read me, Commander Cloud? How you doing? Feeling better? I'm good. We'll take a cart back down. You three follow the tracks till you hit the bridge into town. Figure we link up there before heading in. You copy? Copy. Oh, and set our route while you're at it, will you? The gentler the ride, the better. Don't want anyone losing their lunch. I'm begging you, Cloud, please. I wouldn't mind some excitement, but what you gonna do? Others are gonna be okay. These tracks seem about ready to fall apart. I have a feeling they'll hold for a while yet. You do? Of course. I'm standing on them, aren't I? Wait, I've read about this. Cats and dogs can sense all kinds of stuff through their paws. Things our feet could never pick up on. Yeah, they're super sensitive. Your pets, right? Except that mine can discern far more than any pet. So, Red? No. I didn't even say anything yet. You didn't have to. One squeeze? No. Please? If not for me, at least for Cloud? I mean, I am kind of curious. How about this? At the next inn, we treat you to a foot massage. Look at 
It's fine. It's just a cart. It can't kill you. Okay? <sighs> uh, better than I thought, actually. Guess Clout didn't feel like completely screwing us over. <laughs> what a letdown. Still alive. Miraculously, yeah. Oh, who's this? <laughs> Think of him as a tag along. Wait a sec. That is uncanny. I know, right? Meet Cloud Junior. <laughs> Welcome aboard, Junior. Get to 
say goodbye. At least we know he's with family now. We'll miss you, Cloud Jr. Sir Wallace has graced us with his presence. Hmm? Surprised he had the balls to come back, but we're so glad he did. <laughs> <laughs> Killed the bottle. Him. Go get him. Ain't had no honest work since that damn reactor blew. <laughs> Gotta say. Not a day goes on. A customer. Get-rich quick scheme blow up in your face again? Try to sell out another town, huh? Don't let him talk to you like that. I can take it. Been out of work for ages. Wonder why. If we ain't got work. Hurry it up, would ya? Thanks. Yeah, the extra thick ones would make for good training weights. So much for that bread. I wouldn't really paint you. I trust you ain't just window shopping. Here, don't take kindly to outsiders. So join in her lament. Share in her rage. Generally. Hey, 
Guys, you mind if I pop in for a minute? There's someone I want to see. When I got hurt back in Nibelheim, they brought me to this clinic. The doctor here, Sharon, he's the one who saved my life. Oh. You're telling me Doc Sharon's the one who fixed you up? Come on. Deceived. You know the truth. Trust in me. Sephiroth! <laughs> the hell's gotten into you, man? What's going on? Barrett Wallace. Dr. Sheeran. It's... it's been a while. <laughs> Certainly has. <laughs> That's one frightening looking appendage you got there. But hey, at least you still seem to have your health. Yeah, and you too. Oh, I'm feeling the miles, but the work keeps me trucking. I tell you what though. Do you remember me? Well, of course I do, Tifa. It hasn't been that long. You heal up all right? I did, yeah. I just wanted to drop by and say thank you. If it wasn't for you, I doubt I'd be standing here today. Don't thank me. Thank Lady Luck and Shinra for that helicopter. I'm sorry, Shinra? I know you might find it hard to believe. But not all the apples in that bunch are rotten. But seriously, you're living proof of the good in people. Don't ever forget that. It'd be a pity to let their kindness go to waste. Yeah. Besides, you need to set a good example for your friends here. Oh, right. Well, I gotcha. Mind helping me out? Need to draw that gentleman's blood. You think you can hold him still for me? <laughs> At first, I thought it was just Mako poisoning. It is until I ran some tests. The results were strange. Strange how? A substance turned up. One I've never seen before. Not sure what to make of it yet, but it did remind me of one I have seen. Your eyes. Soldier, right? X, soldier. It's not a job, son. Once a soldier, always a soldier. Huh. Spare a drop? No. Yeah. I ask, because I suspect there's soldiers suffering from cellular degradation. Just a theory for now. And one I can't prove, not without a lot more testing. You see many of these guys come through? Yeah, and then some. I do what I can for the injured ones, but leave the rest to stumble onto the saucer. Why would they go there? Shit. <laughs> Don't ask me. I think it's odd too. Ain't that something? The girl I saved coming back here with Barrett of all people. I'm sure there's some kind of cosmic significance to that. But hell if I know what it is. <laughs> so... Doc mentioned the gold saucer, right? As in the amusement park, where every day is a holiday? We're going, right? I mean, we have to! Yuffie, this isn't a vacation. Yeah, yeah. Weird mumbling guys, got it. Oh man, this is gonna be so much fun! Town's got a ropeway that'll take us straight there. It's not far. If we're doing this, let's just do it. In four years, and not a day goes by, I don't think of my husband. His <laughs> Figured you'd have moved on by now. Glad you're here in any case. I got a situation. See for yourself. 
We have one of your rogued men. If you want him back, it will cost you one million gil. Agree to the terms, and we'll take care of the rest. What's this? Beats the hell out of me. Guess some fool got it in her head I was making money off my research. You gonna pay up? Look at this place. Can barely afford bandages, never mind a ransom. <sighs> Only option is to save the man myself. Or hire the right merc to save him for me. Or the right merc's friend, to be more precise. Who better to hunt down a criminal than someone who's got a nose for tracking? One finer than any human could ever possess. Well, I can't argue with you there. That was easy. So where do we start? Spoke with some of the neighbors, but they weren't much help. No one saw anything out of the ordinary. You know, it could be that the perpetrator threw on a hood to blend in. Doubt anyone had bat so much as an eyelash or one more robe walking around. Cloud, the letter, if you don't mind. <laughs> There's a strong scent, but... Cologne, perhaps? How about that? Picked up the trail already! Ah, which reminds me. There's a compound in our rogue friend's sweat that glows when exposed to this light. Just hope it helps some. Follow me, Cloud. You can actually smell them? My olfactory sense is 7,000 times more sensitive than yours. Bodily secretions are as distinct as any perfume. A single sniff of a person's clothing is enough for me to locate them. Though there are a number of competing smells through which I must sift. Huh. What do I smell like? Hmm. Like a man who's killed his fair share of fiends, I suppose. Like blood and shit, then. Not literal shit, no. Wouldn't recommend you.
your scent seems to lead straight ahead, but... Oh, that's not good. What? Nothing. Let's... No. Hello there. Different scent. He has nothing to do with the kidnapping. <laughs> Aw, you must be hungry, huh? Sorry, but this is people food. <clears throat> Whoa, easy there. I can spare a bite. See a guy in a black robe come through? Hmm. Now that you mention it, it was his one hooded fella. The chocobo carriage headed toward a cave nearby. Though I am a skilled tracker, I have one terrible weakness. What? My appetite. With this overpowering aroma of meat in the air, I don't think I'll be able to focus on the kidnapper's scent. <laughs> I heard that. Grilled meat is all it takes to throw you off your game? <laughs> Cloud, look. You gotta be close. Time to put the doctor's light to use.
Once we found our man, what should we do with his captor? Well, Shiran asked us to rescue his patient. He didn't say anything about how we should deal with the kidnapper. We'll figure it out later. Understood.
This is the kidnapper's camp. No sign of them. So, do we wait? Help! Some crazy bastard kidnapped us and stuck us in this cave! It's them. Shit. Oh, boo! Aren't you a clever little puppy, sniffing out the truth? <sighs> okay, where is he? Think we just tell you? We're not your average criminals, kid. In fact, we're the world's greatest double act. Ellie, the elusive! Bury the brat! <laughs> I wonder what your friends would have paid for you. Guess we'll never know. Ah! <laughs> 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 
him up. What? Old buddy of yours? Barry, look. The kid's eyes. He's a soldier. No wonder he wiped the floor with that monster. But time ain't on his side. Even the strongest ones don't stay strong for long. Sooner or later, he'll wind up like all the rest. Another mumbling hooded freak. Sure, you got lots to catch up on. Suck it, losers! Let him go. We got our man. Let's take him back to Sheeran. Glad to see our man still alive. Save for a few scrapes, none the worse for the wear. Is it true that soldiers' cells degrade? Uh, believe me, if I knew, I'd tell you. But Shinra keeps a tight lid on everything soldier-related. Only doctors with access to those secrets are the company's own. I certainly don't qualify. If anyone here was gonna have answers, it'd be you, son. 
Been feeling under the weather? Not really. The procedure you boys underwent was cutting edge. So much so, I doubt anyone in the company knew what the long-term effects might be. The more information we have, the better. <laughs> so, uh, change your mind about that blood sample? No. <laughs> well, one of these days, I'll win you over. Take whatever beds are open. It's time you moved on. <laughs> 